Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski with your top stories. Transit workers continued their strike this week, which has left riders in Kelowna, Lake Country, West Kelowna, West Bank, First Nation and Peachland scrambling for alternative transportation. And support for the union varies across the valley. We've had different unions stop in when I was at the other at the yard and a couple of different unions stopped in and shook our hand and said they supported us and that. So it's good to have, yeah. We're getting positive feedback from the traffic, yeah, so it's been good. Picket lines are set to continue as negotiations are not being made between the union and First Canada. While both the City of Kelowna and BC Transit have made it clear they're staying out of the situation and letting the affected parties deal with the matter. A school bus that skidded across Hollywood Road South earlier this week was out of service and had also recently been inspected. The bus lost its back wheels, which rolled off the vehicle and into a nearby resident's fence. A1 Limited was the bus operator who commented it was surprised by the incident. The Ministry of Transportation is still investigating the issue and said inspections of a school bus occur twice a year and look at all safety aspects of the vehicle. The driver was the only occupant aboard this week's crash and was not injured in the incident. The province announced an $18 million investment into new housing projects in Kelowna earlier this week. To create 131 new units of affordable rental housing for low and moderate, moderate income families, couples, independent seniors and individuals. For local organizations will split the money to provide safe affordable homes for people with low to moderate incomes. The official kickoff has begun for the Salvation Army's Kettle Campaign, which, like every year, is looking for volunteers to help fill more than 5,000 hours this season. Where we have set a target, a goal this year, of trying to raise $750,000 by Christmas Eve of this year. All of the funds raised will stay in the central Okanagan and go to help families and individuals in the community. Getting a buzz from the barber will take on a whole new meaning in BC by next year. The provincial government is once again modernizing liquor laws and allowing an array of businesses to sell alcohol in their establishments. So we hit the streets to find out what local barber shops, spas and salons think as they'll be able to apply for a liquor primary license in January. I think it's long overdue. I think it's a great thing. You should be able to have a nice glass of scotch while you get your hair cut. I've worked in like the bar and restaurant industry before and it's pretty uh, easy to get your serving right and just yeah move on from there right who doesn't want to go to the spa and have a glass of wine with their friends right it's, it's nice to get you all to get your hair done and have a glass of wine or you know yeah it'd be perfect it's called being happy in a spa <laughs> well that wraps up Castanet's week in review for my final time thank you to Castanet I'm Jen Zielinski in Kelowna